Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Farman, here playing as Great Britain. So we are currently in a war with uh, Bahamanis and Narwar. Uh, it's really going heavily in our favor. Um, the Timurids probably didn't even need me to join in, but I'm joining in in hopes of getting this one province from Narwar and completing the Indian missions. Uh, in other news, the coalition against us has really just suddenly started to collapse. Um, the end of the last episode, it's really falling apart now, which may actually be our opportunity to do some damage to Burgundy. Unfortunately, that's going to involve quite a war. Um, but we do have Russia, so that's good. Actually, Russia is probably actually involved, which is one reason this war is going easily. Yeah, look, Russian legions in uh, South India. Um, we're going to be fighting Portugal, Sweden, Burgundy, and the Pope. And on our side, we hopefully will have Austria and obviously Russia. Plus, we're getting some nice army professionals. Look at this. We're up to 74% army professionalism. Those numbers start to add up after a while. They really do. We also can raise another army, so we're probably going to do that. And we will continue pursuing the missions as far as they can go, which right now will involve a rather major fight against Burgundy. Um, we actually can hit a Golden Age. I'm thinking we won't hit the Golden Age just yet. Um, can wait till we hit level 27 admin tech, get that 10% admin efficiency, or if we need it in a war. That's the other point. Coke blast furnaces are now a thing. Um, Shrewsbury actually got that. And coal and iron are now like more likely to trigger industrialization events. Awesome. So time to save some um, monarch power and get closer and closer to 25 development in all provinces. We've got, what is this, about a uh, little over half done, I think. So we'll see how that goes once we've cleaned up this war. And then begin plotting against Burgundy. I'm thinking I'll probably pull my Indian troops out of India and back to Europe, because that's really where the rest of our fights are going to take place. Obviously, we're still colonizing in North America and India. Oh, not India, Africa. There we go. I know my continents, I think. We've got, let's see, we've got Europe, we got... North America, we've got Asia, we've got South America, we've got Oceania, and we have Africa, I think, or whatever left. At least it makes sense in that direction. Um, I suspect we're going to see a Merwar that's going to peace out very momentarily here. They got nothing going for them, and I might have just wandered into a death trap. Looks like I did. Okay, time to retreat love being able to retreat. Hate it when the game doesn't allow you to, though. Those are the worst moments. Mamelukian Separatists. Oh, we can handle you. Um, honestly, I'm almost thinking I should just raise autonomy so I don't have to deal with this again. Do they hate me over? War is ocean. Some of these doing discontent in my lands. Joy. Um, you know what, let's actually promote Egyptian, because uh, we're going to be trying to take other land from the Ottomans at some point. So we'll harsh treat them, and then we will... Hopefully that will let them stay as is, or be converted. Honestly, I'm hoping I can convert them. They're not a trade region in it at all, so I should be able to. I am actually kind of impressed Marwar is still holding into this war, but they are. And the coalition against me is totally gone at the moment. Uh, let's promote some advisors. And then save money to get a new army raised. I wouldn't think I could colonize faster in the new world, but I seem to be doing so. Yellow over here is almost dead. It's almost tempting to try like conquer, vassalize them, and then reconquer southern India with them. Alas, not possible at the moment. 
Um, he's got a good air. Very weak in legitimacy, but he's a good air. The Dutch do like me, so I should be able to call them into a war with Burgundy. I need I need these provinces though, and then I need to control. Do I actually have to control the channel? I think I have to control the channel trade. I don't think I actually have to take over the Dutch provinces. It doesn't appear to be. I just need 85% trade power in the English Channel. About 76. You know what time it is? Time for a massive trade fleet. We will go... Uh, 70 of them? 60 of them? That would keep us within the limit, but we need over a thousand gold. Okay, I can do that. Not too bad. Really wish this war would be over, though. You know, I never realized how awkward it is to try and figure out who, which provinces are owned by the British and which are owned by the Timurids. Because they look the same. Almost. I was playing as a country the other day, and I noticed the occupying colors of a country right next to them are really weird. Really, really weird. Hey, I got that one province we needed. Nice. I think I just got one province. Yep. Got that one province up there. Put it into a trade region. Complete the mission. Lawrence of Heathens and Manpower Modifier. Not what we were particularly after, but I will... Take it, I guess, and we will transport our way out of Asia. If anyone wants to conquer land in Asia for me at this point, really don't need it. Um, do we want the army first or the actual military? Or the navy? I probably should start the navy first because it's going to take like 10 or more years to actually build. But at the same time, the army would allow me to fight Burgundy at some point. Austria is silent. I should let Russia move their troops back, because we're going to have one heck of a fight here between Russia and Sweden. I'm, doing, I'm a little worried about it. Sweden is very strong right now. Are they, in a, are they a lucky? They are a lucky nation. That would be why. 624 ruler, they are going to be monstrously powerful. The swing plow has been invented in Oxford. Awesome. More, more industrialization events likely to follow. Curious if we'll actually fire on some of these, because Chester here could really use some development. I think I will go with the army first, then we can catch up with the navy afterwards. Look at pirates. The English trade net, wow. Those are some dedicated pirates. I mean, this is our privateers. Quite a, quite a force there. Um, if we do conquer Burgundy, though, we'll get like four... Uh, trade power out of it. Uh, let's construct this fleet. I will base it currently out of Leinster. I've got to raise this fleet first, and I've got to transport this army first, and I've got to transport it over. No, oh, it's going to be a while. Meanwhile, that navy has to return. Army and navy have to return from India. Still below 4,000 development. Fine. Looks like Spain is colonizing this region finally. Yeah. Well, we've got a good start. As usual, we're controlling a massive amount of the trade coming out of that area. Their trade node is worth 100 gold. Our trade node worth is almost worth 200. That believe we can't pull more out of it. But 200% trade efficiency. Portugal, 181. Uh, impressive. 
They get a lot of modifiers going for them, though. Um, let's pull out a morale of army guy and promote you. you be careful I don't promote them too much, but I don't think at this point I could sink my economy. Not without raising another army or two. Probably another army would do it, actually. Uh, let's throw you guys into Europe. Do financial incentives. Free development, right? And we need a general. Not that great of a general, honestly. Let's move our troops to the border. That army and navy are about to arrive from India. What? Oh, I'm trying to colonize over here too? Wait a second, where are my colonies? Oh, this one hasn't finished colonizing. Oops. My bad. Fix that. Oh, another 51,000 troops to the border. The Russian armies are returning home. Good. I should have gotten a fair amount of favors from the Timurids. Uh, I think right now I'm not going to call it to any wars. Trying to keep them as an ally, I think, at this point is probably more important. Um, no, we actually do need the subject nation. I might take off the outraged ones for the moment. Still got a reign in Mexico. Which, despite a whole new army, is still rebellious. When will they be satisfied as part of the Empire? Probably once I get the um, age idea up here, which I should be getting fairly quickly. It's taking a little longer than I suspected it would. We'd also need 125% discipline. Yeah, we ain't getting that. 112 isn't bad, though, I don't think. Why are you so rebellious? Got almost no tariffs. Oh, admin efficiency. Oh, and reduced um, diplomatic reputation because low legitimacy. Makes sense. Okay, let's see about this Burgundy War. Venice would not join. Tuscany, Austria, and the Netherlands all would. Amazing. Um, we are going to go for imperialism now for the reduced aggressive expansion. I'm hoping we can also break the Pope. Maybe Lorraine, we'll see. Lorraine is an elector. Brandenburg, the Netherlands are. Ooh, that's not good though. Actually, wait, does it count as being an ally? It does. Okay. I don't actually have to control that. I just have to either ally them or conquer their lands. Yes, that works. Okay. Quite the war. Quite the war. Burgundy is considerably weaker than I am, though. Actually, we're falling behind in innovation. I can really do on that front. But actually be a little bit careful with these armies. Or not. Okay, either we caught them when they had no morale and were driven, or they're actually weaker than I thought they were. Apparently we went into debt, though. Huh. Ah, the donation to the clergy. I didn't mean to hit it. That would be part of the reason. Um... You are throwing everything you got at my army there, so let's pull all my troops down. How many troops can we throw into a single province? Apparently 175,000 without too much effort. Apparently they also have a very large fleet.
And the Dutch are getting defeated. Okay. Did not really see that coming. Uh, Tuscany is going to have one heck of a fight for survival against the Pope, though. Merge all these ships together for the moment and go help out our brave Dutch allies. They actually seem to be doing fine now. Okay. Oh, Sweden's fleet, I see. And Sweden is not a very, uh, have a lot of military ships. A lot more sense now. Okay, we've taken that. Good thing there's no Prussia in this game. One of my other games I'm playing for fun, there was a there's a Prussia that actually managed to conquer a um, good portion of Bohemia, Poland, and northern Germany. Then I forced them to annul their treaty with Russia, and they just got dogpiled on. I was at war with Russia, and uh, Prussia was the problem. So I forced Prussia out, got peace, forced an annulment of uh, an alliance with them, and after that, they've just died. It's amazing how much they were relying on the Russians to back them up. Yeah, I think I'm going to win that fight. Um, speaking of which, what is my naval doctrine at all? Wooden wall, ah, oh, yeah, because I'm British. That should be easily in our favor this fight. Captured one ship, lost. Actually, she didn't lose any ships. Nice. Um, I'll dock you briefly, though, to rebuild. Other than that, this war is going in our favor very quickly. I did not expect it to be this easy. I guess without a coalition, Burgundy, just with this, is relatively weak. They're not even a great power, so... I suppose I shouldn't have been as afraid, as afraid of them as I have been. It's just... Uh, having Spain involved in anything is a nightmare. Okay, we've taken over that. Actually, we've taken over almost all of Burgundy's forts. We've got three more to go, and then we're done. Two more, I should say. Hope it's going to take a little bit longer to beat up, as is Sweden. At least no um, Spain. One consolation. Um, let's set up our peace deal already. Just so that I remember to what I actually need to take. Could be a big land grab, though. Ugh. I guess I risk it, but I'm sure I can't get another admin efficiency then. And all it's going to net me is those provinces. Okay, could be better, could be a lot worse. And no going for tech because uh, we really do need some tech going. Oh, there's the last fort fallen. Um, might as well send you after the Pope now. The Pope has become very powerful. I mean, not obviously as powerful as any of the great powers, but there's still not anything to joke at. Mysore apparently has emerged in India, or re-emerged in India. Wow, um, I guess Bahamut has kind of collapsed a little. Speaking of other things in the world, let's see, we got California is trying to fight off all my other legions, and Brazil is fighting amongst themselves. Okay, awesome. Um, we're going after that. We will just queue up to occupy all those provinces. Dutch are actually having a little bit of trouble with the Swedes up there, but... Oh, we've got apparently trade goods of glass. Cool. Um, where are the Russian troops? 
might control Russia, but I'm trying to figure out what they're doing with their armies. Russia, 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 Russia. Are they still stuck in India or something? Yeah. Still stuck in India. Great. Couldn't ask for better. Russia not being that useful so far. At least that I can tell. Uh, looks like Spain is actually having some rebel issues. I think. Oh yeah, I should probably pay off this loan, which got by pure mistake. There we go. Take over some of the air. Oh no 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 no! You're not allowed to do that. Sweden's trying to sneak troops onto the British Isles. We can't have that. Sorry, Sweden. That is not, I repeat, not allowed. Um, temporary merge of these fleets. We'll send them to hunt enemy fleets in the north of Lent. Probably actually dock them briefly. Um, trading in wool ships are cheaper. Nice. Relatively useful. Okay, what do we got for people? Does any of them at all interested in peace? Appear to be. So we're probably going to have to send troops to Portugal. Actually, I expected to have to. Problem is, I'm going to have to probably invade. Um, North Africa just to piece out Portugal. Luckily they don't contribute much in terms of a military. Anything. Um there we go. Let's get those colonists going. Anybody want peace? Nobody wants peace other than Portugal's states. Colonial nations, which don't really enter into this at all. And we also lost a general. Um, that fort has fallen. I'm amazed Austria is doing a really good job with sieging. Um, general just pinning down armies. Go AI. Well. I think I might actually end this here, um, about 20 something minutes again. Um, actually no, you know what, tell you what, I'll be nice to you guys, go a little bit longer. Specifically I'd like to piece out somebody out of this war, Portugal would be a nice target. Thinking I maybe will get them to concede colonial regions if I take enough land. They're having trouble with Tunisian separatists, even better. There we go. Make sure Mexico's under control. Sadly, I'm going to keep losing mercantilism as those guys get more rebellious. Don't want to lose them too badly. Um, looks like we got two, maybe three forts till the Pope surrenders. Got another couple hundred gold or more to come in from uh, New World. I am going to. Do I want to barrage that? Yeah, it's a great fort defense, though. That's the power of the Tower of Belim. Or Belim, however you say it. Amazing structure if you actually go look at it online. Pretty impressive. Um, Ferrer has fallen. Nice. Whoops, capital has fallen. Even better. Um, need Rome to... to Uh, no, I want you to suffer more first. We still got another two forts or something we can kick them out of. I have no idea what Brunei is up to, but they're up to something. Can't make that crossing. Put these guys back hunting in the North Atlantic. Technically put them in the Baltic Sea and they'd almost be just as effective. 
Mary von Habsburg still going strong at 57. Ruling with, pretty sure it's an iron fist. Yeah, strict. And another general died. Or no, that was an admiral. Is that an admiral? No, it was a general. Yeah, makes sense. Do I want to break across into northern Port uh, northern Africa, or I just want to piece Portugal out? Probably actually want to go after them. Um, I would like, ideally, conceding like California or something, but yeah, that's going to be way too much. Oh no, Brazil might be doable. Obviously, we just got to take the fort before we see what's going on there. Um, Lorraine, we are going to break you, Lorraine. We're going to have you seed every nation possible. Um, actually, can't force religion change. Going. Um, do that much, though. Just mess up the HRE a little bit more, make it a little bit more dynamic. Really like to convert people to Anglicanism, but it doesn't appear to be possible. Oh, this could be nice. Propaganda of state religion. Would allow me to start converting some of Africa. Oh, not Africa. India. Boy, I cannot remember my nations. Um, that's in Parliament. That's in support. Naval commissions. That's in support. There we go. Meantime, though, we'll convert what we can, which is pretty much Muslim land. I may have to barrage those forts looking at it. Oh, you just finished. Nice. Being this fighting the Mamluks. Interesting. Um, that erupts. The Ottomans attack the Mamluks. And the Mamluks are allied to both Sweden and Spain. Ah. Well, um, I'm going to go on a limb and say the Ottomans are going to win that one. But it is Spain, so... We'll not underestimate them that much. Ports, though, are taking forever. Also, I could create a client state and start feeding them lands. That could be kind of interesting. Only Europe and the world didn't hate me as much as they do. Or will once I take land. To be fair, I do have claims on it all, so I should be able to take a fair amount. And is this going to be the fall of Portugal's fort? Nope. And that's under control. I need more furnaces. Okay, where else? Uh, apparently nowhere else. Okay. A little disappointing. There is no coal in India. Wow. Um, where else is there coal? The fair amount in... Oh, let's just switch map, switch map, switch map modes. It's iron. We need coal. Oh no, maybe we just need iron. Well, there's a handful in Burgundy, so that could be three or four. Other than that, the rest are going to have to be in the HRE or Spain if we decide to fight them there. And there we are, Lisbon has fallen. That should be Portugal. Try and get some of their colonial lands. Got oh. huh. Okay, well we'll take Peru. We'll also take
big about one area from Brazil. So some of Peru, some of Brazil. Not the biggest land grab, but I don't really want to keep trying to fight Portugal because they're everywhere. Obviously, I'll probably be fighting them again at a later point, but for now, that takes care of Portugal. And now I've got one of my armies, unfortunately, marooned in uh, Gibraltar. Well, we will fix that. I see them. Apparently, they also fight a, fought a major naval battle there against the Swedes. I really need some siege ability. Uh, I wish I'd taken offensive ideas at this point. Oh, come on. Please, progress. You excellent. Oh, you're still marching back. Or I could make my British fleet dirt cheap for the rest of the game, but fleet maintenance is really not that bad. Especially just maintenance for the British seems a little bit weak. They really should have a numbers thing as well. And there we go, we've taken all the Pope's forts. So that should be the end of the Pope as a major power. We're going to get them to release land. Turn a core. And actually, wait, let's not do the return core. Let's do seed Rome. There we go. And it doesn't cost me a dime, which is even better. Oh. And more importantly, that really beats up the Pope, although they may be able to get Rome right back from Tuscanina. Knowing how the AI tends to agree with the Pope's demand they should control Rome. A little hard to get that. Um, Sweden. Hey Sweden, do you want peace? Sweden does want peace. Ooh, and all treaties with the Ottoman. That's nice. Um, actually, let's just have you no treaties with the Ottoman. More valuable, probably the Ottomans. Actually, let's let it go for a little bit more. I think if we go for a little bit further, we might get an advantage against Sweden. Can't imagine not going to war score go up over time with them. Wouldn't mind giving Russia some provinces. I guess they only have claims on one province, though. Military, dice. Royal mortars have entered the fields. Why the British don't have rockets, I'm not entirely clear. Because um, I have invaded India, so they do know what rockets are at this point. Oh, actually, maybe I can get away with... Uh... Yeah, I actually do have enough. No, it doesn't appear to. Okay, well, we'll just build a ton of these things then. You got an excess of money, might as well keep developing your lands, right? We're first in admin and diplo, not in military at the moment. Although that might change in a little bit once we win this war. Usually the way it ends up. And we can take Liberty Desire from, uh, liberty desire from Subject Development. There we are. That's going to rain in all of those guys, which is perfect. Next, we'll go for probably Napoleonic Warfare. Uh, maybe even our improved artillery or something. We'll see. Suffice to say, we're doing pretty well. Coalition may form. Of course, a coalition may form. Everybody hates me. Um. What is, I think this is the center of trade, right? I would want that from them as well. I just take that as a massive coalition. 
probably shouldn't do that. Just take the war goals. Make sure I'm getting all my claims. Uh, we do want to peace out Sweden first, though. Sweden is really not wanting this war, as they should not. At least they're good on that front. Um, I'm having a serious issue of where I can actually place armies in Europe without them starving. Great power problems. Uh, Robert Warpole is a thing now. Well, since he's cheaper, we'll definitely keep him around. He's cheap and he's still good. And there's another one of the Swedish forts fallen. And another colony done. Actually, I'm out of colonists, so. Let's peace out Sweden. Or maybe I wait a month or two more to get that uh, peace desire up to down to zero. Or that war enthusiasm down to zero, I should say. They're a single army, though. We can't really fight. Sweden's is just so powerful. Sent sick those guys on the Swedish fleet. You might have a very strong trade fleet, but you cannot survive the British Navy. There are none who can. And uh, I really want to give that one province to Russia, so we'll wait till then. Austria is now definitive the Catholic faith. Joy. It means any more of our wars in Europe are going to lose us Austria as an ally. Might be time to look into becoming allies with Poland. <laughs> They're not doing so great either, but and that is actually going to be a little bit of an issue for me. We have separatists in India. Oh, actually, never mind. Apparently the Swedish army has oddly enough invaded India, and by invading India has killed off those rebels for the moment. And we just need them to return. Oh, 71. Actually, we got a little bit longer so we can actually get that one. And coal, iron, and copper provinces. Okay. Introduction of the atmospheric engine. Awesome. Iron shear. There we go. Now we can peace out Sweden. First thing, give this to Russia. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Do it this way. Give you that to Russia, and I will force you to release... Oh, wow, I can't even force them to release Estonia. Uh, Livonia, I guess, will be their next option. Not the best. Actually, can I force them to an old treaties with... Where are you going to be? Almost. A little bit more. Or not. Apparently they just won a battle against me. Why is there a Swedish army in North America? The world may never know. So... There we go. Now Sweden should want peace. Still can get them to another treaty with Spain, though. But that should hurt them for the moment. Couldn't get rid of their land in Lithuania, sadly. But we did get Lavona out. There's that. And now the... Destruction of Burgundy has arrived. We don't want a massive coalition, even though we're going to get a very large coalition out of this. Um, can we release any nations? We can release Milan, or we can release France. 
Or should we at least Savoy? I'm gonna go with Milan. And there we go. Big victory at the war goal. Okay, so now what we have is conquer land in the Mediterranean, specifically from the Ottomans. <laughs> conquer Egypt, specifically from the Ottomans. And invade the HRE and monopolize the English Channel. All of which is going to be very fun to do. Um, yeah, well, I think on that note, we will stop this here. Uh, definitely put those guys to that. We need 20 of you. There we go. Put these guys back to hunting pirates in the English Channel and move the rest of this fleet into harbor. And we'll see where that puts us. Put it mildly, we should be in pretty good shape in terms of controlling the British trade node. We're at uh, 85. How do I get that? I don't think I can force the Dutch to transfer trade power. No. Maybe just build trend tons and tons and tons of uh, stuff in the British trade node, English channel, probably. Okay, well, while I do that, I will say goodbye to all of you, and uh, that will be it for this episode. We'll see what the repercussions of my mass conquest are next episode. I suspect we're going to see a very, very large coalition, but we did just break Burgundy down for me. A large nation to a pretty minor nation. So, uh, they've got lots of rebels, lots of problems. We stole their entire homeland, so now they're going to have to deal with uh, the Dutch and all of that. We also gave Russia one tiny province, and uh, hopefully we didn't lose too many big people who are willing to be something of an ally. Um, I'll click on my allies, we're going to have to exist outside of Europe little bit annoying. Okay, well, that is it. And thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye for now.